And I'll tell you how. It's like Bewari. We have 1,000 vacancies for Itape Wari. So we employ people from Kogi. Let them tell us how they will employ. Because when they loot your money, they will not create infrastructure. So how will they employ you? They will only ask you small money. That's why when you hear them shout PDP, they say share the money. PDP, PDP, the election is between the looter and the looted. We are the looted, right? PDP is the looter, right? They say we are hungry, yes. We are hungry because they have looted all the money. If you don't have money, will you buy a goosey? No. Exactly. So now we are struggling to recover the money. They were in government when oil was at 114. When we took over government, oil was at $28 per barrel. So they cannot compare us to themselves. But we are prepared for the comparison. We are prepared to compare 16 years to just three and a half years. And the difference is very... <laughs> PDP said to us, they started the Kaduna Abuja Rail. Yes, we completed it. They abandoned it. If we left it where they abandoned it, would it have been completed? No. We, bought the, we, we, bought, we bought the coaches and we bought the locomotives. Now people are using it. Over 1.5 million persons have passed through uh, Abuja Kaduna Rail. Right? PDP said to us, we started the railway in Abuja. Yes. We completed it. Now you can go to Abuja Airport without having to use your vehicle. If we didn't do that, will it be, will it be used? No. Now, PDP can say they started Lagos Jebaro. We started it ourselves. Right? The Jeba Road, we completed it. We started it. We completed it. They abandoned for 34 years. They abandoned it at Bewari. Right? And we, are, we have completed it. We, have, we are even about to award the contracts from it at Be to Lokoja. So, in terms of infrastructure, PDP cannot compete with us. The only place PDP can beat us is in looting. Only in cor on, cor on corruption can they beat us. They can't beat us on anything other than corruption. You agree? Um, look, PDP is broke. When I mean PDP, it's not the party. The rich men in PDP are broke. They want to come back and collect more money. Don't let them. If you let them, we will die of hunger. They are broke. You can see they, are let, they, they couldn't even start their campaign. They were looking for money because they are broke. If you allow them to come back, four years, they will take four years to get, recover what they have lost. All the complaint about Buhari is because there is no free money. Everybody must work for his money. It's our responsibility to create a job for you so that you can earn your own money. CDP cannot do that. Let's deal with security. Let's deal with security. PDP says, we're not doing well with security. As at the time I was governor in PDP, they bombed the United Nations office, two of us. Yeah. They killed Senator Solomon in Plateau, two of us. Now, in our state, in our country, you can sleep peacefully in Abuja and in most parts of the country. We are not saying, we are not saying to Nigerians that we have solved the problem of security 100%. We are saying it has improved. We've just done three and a half years. More work to be done. Give us another four years, we'll do more work. Listen and listen very well. Now they will say we said one dollar to one naira. We never said so. Market forces will determine the exchange rate. But we shall improve the economy so that our naira will be better, right? And we can sleep well. Let me thank the people of Gogi. You know your governor is my friend, right? He's a young man. Even though I'm older than him, I'm still a young man, why not? <laughs> I'm older very well. Is it? You know, you, know the, you know that he's a governor. I can't call him a small boy. If not, they will sack me. So as a governor, he's not a small boy. But I'm older than... But I'm also a young man. Am I not? If I'm not young, I look young, don't I? I look young, right? This party is for the youth. This party is for what? For the youth. All the youth must come out on that day and vote. 
When you vote, defend your vote. Sit down there. Don't go home. They, they will give you their money. You don't take. If you take, don't vote for them. God bless you. Thank you very much. APC! 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 All right. Now we are going to call on, because we know we are in Koji State and we are in the North Central, we'll call on the director for the Women Mobilization of the Presidential Campaign Council. She will speak for one minute before we move on. One minute. One minute. Adia, you can speak from the podium where you are. A message of hope because the very cool of Buhari APC led government has given women a front seat in the journey to a greater Nigeria and a better future. As women, we believe in the future of our children. The DG said APC is for the youth. I want to digress a little. I want to disagree. APC is a party for the women, the mother of the youth, because we are women and we are the mother of the youth. So it is okay to say APC is for the women and the youth. And as women, we are sharing Baba today that in gratitude for what he has done for us as women, through the different and various programs that women are benefiting, we shall come out and mass with our children, our husbands, our family, brother and sister, to re-elect him, inshallah, come to uh, February 16th. Are we not going to do so? Igala women, are you here? Igala youth, are you here? Who are we going to vote for as our president? Igala women, are you here? Igala youth, are you here? Who are you going to vote for as your president? Oku women, are you here? Oku youth, are you here? Who are you going to vote for as your president? I believe you because. This crowd has confirmed your solidarity and readiness to return our Baba Megestia. And inshallah, I know we are going to deliver APC from the president to the last person. Okay? Nigeria! Nigeria! Togi! Thank you very much. APC! We now invite the host, the leader of the movement in Koji State, His Excellency! His Excellency! The White Lion! His Excellency! Governor Yahya Bando to deliver his remarks.